Hello everybody. <clears throat> I want to do a video today on the Pioneer 1000. Why did my clutch lock up? I'll tell you why your clutch locked up because you're not driving it correctly. So I want to uh, start off by saying that I uh, was a technician at a power sports dealership for uh, quite a few years and I've got experience that uh, and knowledge that I want to I want to share at this point do some videos and help people save money save money oh. so uh, today I'm gonna save you money on your Pioneer 1000 uh, and give you some very helpful information uh, about that particular particular unit <clears throat> so I've, I've got to say I did uh, two clutch jobs on the Pioneer 1000 and there's a specific reason that these clutches actually had to be replaced one of them was actually on a brand new unit it was only it was like six months old and this person brought it back and it was basically what you're going to experience uh, if you do operate the vehicle uh, uh, in the wrong manner which you're going to experience uh if you do burn your clutches up uh you're going to go start your unit and go to put it in gear obviously the first gear you're going to go by is reverse so once it hits reverse it's going to lock in reverse and want to take off so be careful um <clears throat> if that does happen uh obviously you don't want to drive the unit further than you have to at that point um so basically what's happening is the dealer is not telling you certain things when you buy the unit. They're not going over everything. A lot of it is them, you know, saying, hey, read your manual. Well, not everybody's going to read their manual, but there is some very helpful information that you need to know about that unit. And that is when to drive in high and when to drive in low. So if you read in the manual, uh, I forget 100% obviously read the manual it's always good to read the manual what it's going to tell you is that <clears throat> uh, the only time you're going to want to be in high gear is in when you're on a flat flatter surface going at a higher speed any other time you want to be in low gear i cannot stress this enough it's going to cost you a lot of money if you got the money and you don't care whatever it just it's still going to be your time in aggravation though of having to tow the unit back to your trailer, trailer it up and take it to the dealership and God knows how long it's going to take for them to actually com complete the job. So you're not going to have your unit, it might be a brand new unit, you ain't going to have it for a while because of this particular uh, uh, situation, people not driving them the way they're supposed to. And it's very simple, you're going to want to be, so what happens is you're in high gear and you're driving, if you're in high gear, you're driving slow through sand and mud, you're gonna burn the clutches up. It's a fact, you will burn them up. I've had to replace them. Um, so basically it's not that hard. Uh, read the manual, it's gonna tell you, you're gonna wanna be in low almost all the time, except for harder surfaces going a higher speed. Um, so basically that's it. I'm going to kind of end it here. Uh, I'm really hoping to help people out there to save people money and not have to take, uh, uh, and not have to spend a lot of money at the dealership. I worked at a local dealership in Fort Pierce for, for quite some time and uh, basically trying to save you money. So I hope you appreciate this. Read the manual. Save that money. <laughs>